This is a really useful piece of software if you work with images. Any kind of images, if you want to do any work with this, even satellite images, you can process. It doesn't understand projections, but if you want to do any kind of image processing, this is a suite of tools that allow you to kind of do a bunch of edits. It, it can do animation, blurring, change the colors and stuff like that. I've used it so many times in my career for batch processing. For example, I have a bunch of images. I want to prop it to a certain size and I have like 10,000 of those. I can write a command, run it. It just crops all thousand images. I use it regularly on our coursework where I take a screenshot. I want to add a nice one, one pixel border around each image. Run a command, it just adds a border to all my images. Again, any kind of image processing, it also can say, I want to blur it, I want to sharpen it, I want to change the color balance, I want to do the animation out of this. So if there's an animation module, you can do a bunch of things. The problem with image magic is that it is super hard to use. Typically, you would spend a few hours figuring out what's the right command for doing exactly what you want because there are so many options and so many things that you want to do. That's why I'm very thankful for AI now. AI is really good at figuring out the right combination of commands that you need. I always use this now. So I can image magic command for creating an animation from a folder of PNG files with a delay of 0.5 second. And it'll just figure out and give you a command that you can run. So this is the, the command that I have. You can install image magic. The, there is different ways to install this. It's a command line program. So if you install on Windows, you do install the, the open the command prompt and run it. I am on a Mac, so let me just open terminal. I have the command installed. So this is the, the way to do this. I'm going to go to the directory, which I have the animation. You can see I have this PNG files. And I got this command from here and I'm going to paste it and it's just going to run this and just create an animation uh, with whatever parameters I did. And again, uh, the documentation is not that great. So again, AI will really help you. So you can see now I have this animation, which I could just create from a command line. So this is kind of a power users toolkit. If you want to do animation or image processing, just knowing this tool will be helpful whenever you find yourself, oh, how do I do this for 10 images? How do I crop them, re resize them, do some processing? So just take help of AI tools and you'll be able to use them.